Hi students, let's look into consequence analysis jet fire. So a jet fire occurs when a gas or vapor at high pressure is released from a leak hole, which immediately found a source of ignition and burn at the hole. So this is uh, one of the source models. So this is an example of a jet fire. So if you notice, uh, the bottom part of it is usually upright, vertical. And then there is an impact by the atmospheric uh, transmissivity, like a uh, wind. Okay, so it's the same for this picture. The bottom part, it, it shoots at a very high pressure. And then it has got the impact of wind. Okay, so this is jet fire. So for a jet fire, um, we first estimate the rate of discharge from leak hole and then we estimate the flame height then we identify the fraction converted to heat radiation and then we look for point source view factor atmospheric transmissivity and uh, finally heat flux to identify to estimate the thermal effects so this um, uh, heat radiation point source view factor Atmospheric transmissivity and uh, heat flux at target we have discussed in the uh, consequence analysis pool fire. So for jet fire, these are the additional two. So <coughs> the source model for jet fire is flow of gas through a hole. So we have a pressurized unit kept at pressure T, P0. Temperature T0 and the density of gas is uh, density tau0. Okay, so we have external surroundings, atmospheric pressure, and then we have a pressure at the orifice, which is known as uh, pressure at throat. This one. Okay, so this is called P choked. That means there's a when there's a hole here and this is high in pressure this point so when it's rushing out so there's a lot of uh, material that wants to rush out through this small hole so that's called pressure choked so um, if let's say the atmospheric pressure which is usually the case is lower than the pressure at choked then we have a jet fire okay so because of the difference when this side is higher so we will have a jet fire okay so this is um, uh, if you remember the mechanical energy balance we discussed in the source model so we use the same energy balance and then we identify uh, equations for few parameters so one of it is the velocity of gas through the hole so it is defined by this equation so if you notice we have uh, a few new uh, parameters uh, that did not exist in the models that we discussed in the source model lectures because uh, we did not discuss the flow of uh, gas through a hole we only discussed the liquid okay so here uh, we have uh, this uh, heat capacity ratio and then we have uh, additional p choke so the others are the same so this is a gravitational constant uh, this is the orifice uh, discharge coefficient uh, and then this um, uh, what heat capacity ratio can be found in the textbook on uh, in a table okay uh, let me show you in the book so if you look into your uh, textbook ebook e you can actually find this uh, heat capacity ratio given for some of the gases right so this part of it um, is not all from uh, this textbook uh, it's from um, different source but uh, it explains the same source model 
under the heading flow of gases or vapors through holes so for uh, if the gas is ideal so this rt this is the same equation uh, as the above uh, but then if you notice this one instead of uh, p naught it is rt over m so this is the ideal gas uh, equation which is PV is equals to uh, NRT or MRT uh, and then uh, we can substitute the P into these terms okay so the each parameters are described so M is the molecular weight of the gas if it is known C0 is the orifice discharge coefficient and then R is RG is ideal gas constant and this is uh, specific heat capacity ratio okay so um, uh, in a previous uh, lecture this is also this unit also means mass flow rate uh, which we use qm in the previous lectures so this m dot also means mass flow rate okay so uh, this we have uh, p choked uh, for ideal gas law for isentropic expansion uh, the density of gas <coughs> okay, is affected uh, by the uh, P choke the pressure uh, at the choked point okay so we have to, when we calculate the mass flow rate we have to include the P choke Okay, so this one uses the ideal gas uh, law equation. Okay, so this is uh, this three point three two is the equation we use to calculate the mass flow rate. Okay, so for most cases when pressurized gas discharged to the atmosphere, P choked is usually higher than P A. So the velocity of the discharging gas at the throat of the hole is at the velocity of sound at the prevailing at condition. So the velocity and the mass flow rate is maximum and cannot be increased. So because that is the point where all fluid is rushing to be out. So that's when the mass flow rate is maximum. So this choked flow is also known as critical flow or sonic flow. So the maximum flow rate during choked flow so this is uh, m dot choked flow it's given by this equation okay for choked flow the value of coefficient of discharge increases as the downstream pressure uh, decreases so the c naught if if we are looking into a uh, fully open orifice the c naught will become one okay so that is uh, uh, if we look back at this slide, so that is how we estimate the rate of discharge from leak hole. Next, we look at how we estimate the flame height. So we use uh, this correlation uh, by Mudan and Crows in 1988 to determine the height of a jet fire. That means how high the jet fire can go so this equation is defined by this parameter so the length of the flame can be measured uh, from the point between the leak hole and the base of the jet flame so that is L and then the jet diameter so DJ is the jet diameter okay this can be identified as well and then we uh, we can uh, CT is the concentration of fuel in mole fraction in the stoichiometric fuel air mixture so if you remember we did this uh, we this did this uh, stoichiometric uh, balance fuel air mixture and when we do the flammability diagram so this is the concentration of the fuel and then we have adiabatic temperature of the jet flame so this uh, is usually given you can identify this uh, temperature of the flame and then the fluid temperature that was in the tank that was released as gas so this can be these are the temperatures and then alpha t is the mole of the product again this is also obtained 
That means this is the hydrocarbon we obtain from the stoichiometric fuel air mixture. Then this MA and MF are the molecular weight of air and fuel respectively. So for most cases, um, CT is usually less than 1. Okay, uh, this is the concentration of the uh, fuel, uh, concentration of the fuel. Okay, and then uh, this uh, alpha T, which is the concentration of the product, is approximately one. Obviously, this uh, it's based on it. And then the value of the ratio TF over TJ. The temperatures are usually between 7 and 9. So if we could substitute this into the equation, uh, we get a much simplified correlation as given in 3.27. Okay, so we can use this to measure the height of the flame as well as the diameter of the jet fire. Okay, then the heat flux can be obtained using this equation so we have discussed this in the pool fire lecture on how we get this okay so looking at it this is a point source model okay right um, that's all for jet fire so uh, I have uh, assignment 8 for jet fire. So before we complete the lecture, I want to discuss an example of uh, calculating the P choke from the textbook. So this is the example from the textbook on how we calculate a, uh, a P choke as well as determine a mass flow rate. So firstly, uh, uh, the information given is uh, 0 0.1 meter inch hole forms in a tank containing a nitrogen gas at 200 psig and then uh, uh, temperature uh, 80 fahrenheit so determine the mass flow rate through this leak so what we do first is that uh, we find the p choke value because we want to use the qm choked equation so there are some information that we need to identify so this is the equation for p choked value that you can find in the um, you can find in the slides okay so uh, if we substitute so you find the um, gamma this 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 is gamma um, so this is the uh, what ratio uh, heat capacity ratio so you look for nitrogen so heat capacity for nitrogen is 1.41 so you substitute the heat capacity ratio with 1.41 uh, and then um, the uh, p naught is given at, at 200 psig so this is gauge pressure so the absolute pressure will be uh, gauge pressure plus the atmospheric pressure this 14.7 is fixed atmospheric pressure is always 14.7 so when you add this up uh, it, it gives us absolute pressure so from uh, the from this equation we can find the p choke so p choked is 113.1 psia so an external pressure less than 113.1 psi will result in choked flow. So obviously uh, our ex external pressure is uh, at atmospheric pressure which is only 14.7. So definitely we are having a choked flow here which will cause a jet fire. And then we identify the area of the hole as we used to do in the source model. And then the discharge coefficient is assumed to be uh, one okay so it's the worst case scenario so the temperature is given to us in uh, fahrenheit so we in this case here is changed to r ranking because we are using uh, this equation so uh, in 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 this equation which has m over r t uh, so the uh, t should be in r unit that's why it's in ranking okay then um, we are able to 
find the mass flow rate at choked condition okay by using this equation and substituting all the relevant parameters and uh, some of it uh, needs conversion from inches to feet okay so finally that gives us a mass flow rate pound mass per second okay so that is choked flow rate okay with that uh, we can conclude this uh, jet fire uh, lecture so please uh, try this um, question and uh, submit the assignment thank you